U.S. spy agencies believe North Korea is constructing new missiles. This comes after North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and President Trump agreed the country would disarm its nuclear arsenal. And with me to talk about this is Wright State political expert Laura Lorman. Now, a lot to digest this morning. What exactly is going on in North Korea? Right. So there have been two pretty important allegations recently. One, that the facility that produced the inter intercontinental ballistic missile capable of reaching the United States, we now believe through satellite imagery that it is producing one, possibly two new ICBMs, these long-range missiles. These are liquid-fueled um, ICBMs, which um, is very concerning. Uh, se the second allegation is that we now have evidence that there has been a secret uranium enrichment facility that had not been revealed in the past. In fact, last week, Secretary of State Pompeo revealed in, in uh, c congressional testimony that we do believe all along North Korea has been producing fissile material. Those are two very significant yeah. developments. Where do we go from here? Where do we go from here is, is a very important question. It shows us that this June 12th summit, all the pomp and circumstance about that important meeting between Trump and Kim, it was just that. It was political theater. And as we've been saying all along, the devil's in the details and the real work is yet to be done. North Korea has promised to denuclearize. They promised that in 1992. They allowed inspectors in 2005. They made have been making many symbols steps and they've promised all the US presidents since 1992 that they would denuclearize they've broken every single one of those promises when you look at this from a political perspective do you think that people will view the summit in Singapore differently now that North Korea is still continuing their activity Possibly. I think many of the analysts, none of us are very surprised. Um, the summit was premature, as many of us were saying. It was an important step. It was certainly important that it was a step down from the fire and fury and the dangerous rhetoric that just um, under a year ago where we were. So that was important. But all of us said this is just the beginning until we actually have verifiable inspections, until we bring in the experts to, to make sure that uh, North Korea is keeping its word, because we know they haven't kept their word in the past. Uh, we really have very little to go on. So that was an important step, but it was always symbolic. Now, I know many voters at home have been concerned, having some anxieties about nuclear um, war with North Korea. Should we be concerned at all about this most recent activity? I think there's reason to be concerned about North Korea. It is an empirical fact that North Korea is a stronger country today in 2018 than they were in one, they have their nuclear deterrent. Two, they had a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the United States. Now, it had long been an objective of the North Korean regime. That being said, the, uh, what's happening in North Korea, unfortunately, is being echoed in other regions of the world. And nuclear weapons right now are becoming more prominent in um, smaller countries, and it's no longer just the great powers that have nuclear weapons. So, yes, there is reason to be concerned, and we need to continue to have important, verifiable steps that are taken along the way. Now, President Trump hasn't been tweeting very much about North Korea um, like he did very much earlier this year. Do you expect him to kind of take that softer tone while they try to get their facts aligned? I think his advisors have been cautioning uh, that sort of approach, and I think it is an extremely wise approach. Uh, the true diplomacy happens behind the scenes and isn't in these big bravado moments like what we had uh, in June with the major summit. So I think a quieter approach with experts on the ground, I think that would be an extremely wise approach to take from here forward. We'll see if he follows that advice. All right, Right States Laura Lerman joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Our time now is 734.